Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, so today let's have a look at this one. So I uh, have so this stair can play parametric if possible. Um, it looks like a, a more like a ladder. So yeah, I think we can we can we can just um, we can use stairs to model this. Um, and it can be quite close, except um, this railing, because uh, the railing in uh, Revit will always um, be vertical. But this one looks like perpendicular uh, with the slope of this uh, stairs, and also the the stringer uh, can be a little bit issue. But let's let's have a try. Okay, so first let's create a new template. Oh, sorry, not template. Architectural project. Okay, so we can start with that um, stairs. So stairs. So um, there are some different stairs for this one. I guess um, let's start from this one. Okay, so assembled stairs, and I'm going to use edit type and duplicate. So I'll call it new. Okay, so this is a new type of stairs, and then we need to set a, and and we need to create a new type of rung and a new type of landing. But for this one, probably not. Um, and also probably we need to create a new type of um, support, so which is a stringer in this uh, pro in this case. So first, let's set the rung type. So click on this little box, and then so this is a type. Uh, type parameters of this uh, run. Okay, so let's duplicate or to create a new. So this is very important. So if you have other uh, stairs using this uh, run type, uh, if you do not duplicate, it will change all the uh, other type. Okay, so now, so trace material. Um, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, rider, no. So in this in this uh, one, there's no rider, so it's more like a, a ladder. So we just need to uncheck this riser here. Okay. So for chairs, so the thickness of the chair. So that's thickness. Um, I can't really see that. Let's just leave it as fifty. Um, Profile. So this is profile. So it's adding a profile in front of that tread. For this one, I don't think we need. So we can just leave it as a default. And also, this is a length. I'll talk about this later. So everything's good here. So let's click on OK. And then, so actually, we didn't change all these settings because these are by default the maximum 180 uh, riser, uh, minimum. Uh, Tread, tread depths uh, to eighty. So, for this, uh, for this one, so actually you can see the riser, the riser can be, I guess, like one eighty, one ninety, and the tread depths looks like very, very uh, shallow. So it will be, and also there's a little overlapping there. So you can see that we need, we need to set that nose. So I guess this one's. Maybe roughly two hundred. So, but for now we can just leave this because these are just the maximum and minimum settings. So they are not actual um, size. So these are just a default. Okay, so default. So don't worry about that. Click OK. So I'm going to just create this one. So this is a a, a stairs. Start from ground floor and finish at level one. So finish, and then we will always automatically uh, calculate the number we need for um, using the maximum, um, minimum tread steps and the maximum. Uh, oh, actually, sorry, using the using the um, maximum <laughs> riser. Okay, so in this case, because it's one eighty. So it will calculate to get the maximum maximum uh, number we can have, maximum uh, rider height. Okay, so I'll just finish it, and then let's have a look in 3D view. So you can see. Uh, let's just delete the railing. Okay, so now there's no rider, right? So it's only tread. 
but uh, this one looks different to this one because because of the depth of the thread so let's change it to 200 you will see a warning because this 200 is less than the, the minimum thread in this setting okay so you will see a warning but rabbit will still you know let you to change this so now um looks like um uh, even you know stable so maybe it's even less so let's try 150 okay so i think this angle looks uh more like this one okay so okay so the issue we have is you can see it stop here so one thread stop here and then start from here so they are in the same um, plan so we need to add a nose nosing so go edit type so we can see go uh, go to wrong type click on this and uh, where is it nosing length so this nosing length is the length from this edge and then to roughly here so we just because this one's 150 we need to add um, I don't know how much <laughs> how much we need, but let's just add a uh, maybe a for example seventy five, and the profile. So okay, so let's just um, leave it uh, as a profile. Ah, so this is a profile. So maybe uh maybe we don't need that so let's go back and go here and profile let's change it to noun or default sorry there's no noun no only default so which means uh, i believe which means to match the the size the thickness of the threads okay so i think this is it so 75 is from here to here so if you need more you can just add more to it Okay, so now this, these are um, the threads is all good, and then we need to adjust the stringers. Okay, so edit type, so stringers here, so you can see on the support, right support. Um, we're gonna click on, uh, hang on, click on this. Yes, yeah, so click on right support here. So click on this one. Uh, let's just duplicate this one. So new type of uh, stringer. Let's call it a new and so if you use default section profile if you use default so it will be a, a um, rectangular sh um, shape so if you cut a section you'll see that's a rectangular shape and the width is this width and the, then all these settings you can change to adjust the size of this so I'm not going to do it so um, but in this um, exercise so because um, we need a C type uh, steel so we can go here under here so actually there, there's already one so the uh, default um, already um, loaded in this project so this uh, we can use if I click on apply um, oh, looks like nothing happened okay okay ah yeah so you can see it it will ch change this one to a <clears throat> to a um c c um what, what's that called <laughs> c c type stringer okay so and also you can adjust so for for example this one uh maybe maybe you want to, to sit, sit this one um to align with this so you can go here and uh, where is it <laughs> go down oh oh sorry here so yeah you need <clears throat> you need to go edit so oh, sorry not edit click on this and you can adjust um, I think you can adjust this one let's try 50 apply okay yeah yeah i think that's roughly good yeah anyway so that's that's it and so of course the other side you can just change this one to oh you can uh hang on. how can i how can i 
change there's a no list anyways maybe we can do this control v uh, we can't control v uh, here so you can do it you can change it here okay okay yeah so and once again if we if we want to adjust this a little bit um we can just type 20 maybe uh 25 um 30. okay and that's it um yeah th there is some limitation here as you can see the trail stop here um i don't know how to extend this one to that face maybe we need to um do something to the profile so the profile family is in here so if you go to family on the profile there's this one so c channel okay so if you right click on this you can edit this uh, if you type in vv you can turn on all the reference plans um, i'm not sure i'm not sure if uh, um, we can somehow because current currently the trades align with the very you know this end um maybe so this is nothing a weak a reference not a reference this is sent center left right um maybe i don't know maybe we can you know change this one i'll, I'll just have a test not a reference and see what happens so if i load this one in here override not gonna work so maybe revit will automatically um, de detect the very um, end very you know right hand side of that this uh, profile and then stop this thread um okay so yeah if you if you know how to adjust this please let me know okay so and okay so what if we need to change the size of the profile so yeah we can do that so but one way of doing it is you can just go here and just right click and duplicate and rename it and then you can just double click and change all these settings but these are actual uh, structure uh, framing size and there's there's always um standards so i recommend do not do it yourself so you can always load the size from your revit library so go to insert load family so you can see uh, i'm already here so if you go back to you know so here uh, uh i'm using the australian uh family content um uh, content library so it's under detail okay so it's under Oh, no, no, no. It's on the profile. And on the profile, so framing, still. So now you can see the C channel here. And also, if you're using some a different profile, so can be uh, here as well. So let's double click on C channel. So, and then we have all these different sides to choose from. So, for example, I'm going to choose uh, maybe 310. Okay, click OK. Overwrite okay so now if if you go to here so you will see this here so see this one's already here and with all this already uh set up set up so now what we need to do is we need to go select this um stairs and go um stringer here and duplicate create a new one so this time just change the profile to the the new profile so click OK OK so now you will see this one become bigger right so if you change the size of the thread you probably need to uh, change the size of the string so to cover that thread okay so and also you can adjust the offset so it looks like this one we need uh, we can um, adjust it a little bit yeah or maybe something like a sixty yeah all good. And okay so now this is it um and there is and also another uh, limitation here is uh we can't re we, that's limited um option so we have this shape here so if you tab so you can see tab select the streamer you have the option to change this 
so you can uh, so this lower lowers here so you can change this one to horizontal right P um, perpendicular and vertical verticals um, like this and the same upper so you can change perpendicular and vertical and horizontal so yeah in this image it looks like this shape um <laughs> nah i don't think we can do that um and even and i i even tried to use a face-based void to cut um it didn't work so if you know how to do that please let me know as well okay so just to create this something like this um and i think this is it okay so and if you and also the railing so the railing can be quite simple so you can use a sweep so basically just go model in place and i'll use a railing uh, type or category and set work plan i'm going to use this this okay so and then we can just go to you know front view and just to create a sweep use sketch path so find a point and 90, 90 degree and uh, depending on the um, the distance you need to be so for number 600 and something like this and then finish and then edit profile just draw a profile here so for example i'll just do it um maybe 20 uh, radius so finish finish and that's it so that's a rating um and also oh hell looks like we need to offset this a little bit so that's that's okay we can just edit and edit profile just move this to the uh, to right right hand side or maybe um maybe 60 or oh, sorry 30 and finish finish okay so that that's good um finished model and this is it so and also um this railing will automatically adjust so when you when you uh adjust change the change the the slope change the slope of this one so for example if i change this one to 200 and you can see the railing for follow this okay and change it back okay so this is it so um i yeah i think i think maybe just uh stick with uh stairs um unless you want to model um, all these uh details you probably need to use modeling place or yeah i don't think it's, uh, it's necessary to create a a parametric you know um family for this one because uh, it's quite easy to uh, do it uh, using s stairs okay so this is it um, if you have any questions please let me know i'll see you next time thank you bye